Hey guys, happy Thursday to everybody. So I actually recorded this video yesterday and was getting ready to upload it and I watched it and I was a little bit spastic for some reason. Um, I think I maybe had too much coffee yesterday, which may have been evident in the video that I uploaded yesterday. So my apologies for sounding like a crazy person. But um, I just thought it would be better for me to re-record it um, rather than upload another like video where I'm potentially stressing people out. <laughs> so um, I went ahead and changed out my beauty basket. Um, I, I can't really call it a beauty basket of the week because <laughs> I'm typically changing these products out every two, two and a half weeks at this rate. Um, and so my purpose in doing this is to bring out products that I maybe haven't used in a really long time and just cycle through things so that I'm trying something new all the time. And what this helps me with is it reduces the urge to go shopping. And as most of you know, I am on a pretty strict spending uh, budget <laughs> for the year. I have $350 for the entire year, and I'm doing okay with that. I am now definitely into the uh, $200, upper $200 range, um, so I'm still spending, <laughs> but um, I am being a lot more selective, so um, you know, who knows where this will all go at year's end, but um, I'm definitely enjoying taking you guys along for the journey and I'm loving everybody who is giving me updates about um, you know doing something similar themselves so anyway I'm gonna show you really quickly what I use to store my makeup so that you can kind of understand like why I need to rein in my spending not only like for the purpose of like saving money but just for the sheer like um, fact that I just have so much that I should be focusing on using that so this is the infamous Alex nine drawer system from Ikea that you see all over YouTube. Um, I've had mine for a while. And just to give you one example, so this is my blush drawer. It is overflowing with the various blush products. So um, this right here is my palette drawer. So this is several deep down here. Um, I have a lot of palettes. So this is why I need to use the makeup that I have instead of buying more. All right, so um, let's get started with what I pulled out and um, what you will be seeing probably in favorites for the next couple of weeks and hopefully a tutorial here and there. So. First palette that I pulled was from The Balm. This is the Shady Lady Volume 2. I have had this for a couple years and I actually really like this palette a lot. So I get a lot of use out of this devilish Danielle color down here. I am actually about to hit pan on that, so that's kind of cool. This is a great one. If you ever see it on Hot Look, um, I definitely recommend this one. Naked 2 from Urban Decay. So I haven't used this in a while and I love it. So I might as well use it, right? So there's a look at that. I seem to be having some new growth along my hairline here because I've got these hairs that are like pink. Do you guys remember when I was going through like my postpartum like stage and I had the hair like literally sticking up all over the place? I look back at those videos and I, I laugh because my hair was crazy. I mean, not that it's any better now, but um, <laughs> those hairs killed me. And I think they're back. It's annoying. Um, this is a Stila palette. This is called the Backstage Eyeshadow Palette. This has some really fun colors in it. Um, this flamingo color, uh, I kind of want to do a look with that. Uh, hopefully I don't look like I have pink eye when I wear it. <laughs> I may play around with that before I do a tutorial that I actually record for you guys. Um, I am busting out this palette again. Um, I did just have this out not that long ago, but this is the Mint Edition palette from Lorac. And the reason that I wanted to get this back out again is because I really want to do a mint tutorial that's kind of like the fun spring color. 
and um, with like some fun coral cheeks and lips. So anyway, this has a beautiful mint color in it that I want to use for that. So I just thought, hey, I'll just bring it out. Sorry, my lip gloss is kind of goopy. <laughs> okay, foundation. So I just keep my various foundations and powders in this little container. By the way, these are also from Ikea. I don't think they're sold there anymore. Bummer, because they were super cute. I wish I would have gotten some more. Laura Geller Balance in Brighton and Fair. I love this. Everyday Minerals Base in Winged Butter. This is the semi-matte base. Um, yes, I do still use both. So I know somebody asked if I had stopped using this, because I'm using this, but no, I alternate. Tarte Micronized Clay Finishing Powder. Sorry, it's called Smooth Operator. <laughs> and I am actually probably going to be done with this like in the next month. So I'm just going to keep it out and keep using it because I really like this. It's very similar to the Makeup Forever HD powder. I'm trying to not to make this video like too terribly long. I talk too much. Um, so I'm just going to like start grabbing things. So this is like my big container that I have cheek and other like single eyeshadow or brow products in. So I'm just going to grab. It's not going to be in any kind of particular order. This is the uh, Body Shop Blush Trio in Cool Dusk. I actually tried to wear this today and this does not have a lot of color payoff for me. So I don't know if this is something that I should just pass along. Um, I'm going to try it a few more times, but it might be something that I pass along to my nieces. Um, I got out the T Rose Powder Blush from Milani. Now this is the Rose Powder Blush from the Spring Collection last year. So I just thought it was so pretty. So pretty. I love these. Um, my NYX Blush and Taupe. This is what I use to contour every single day. And I see a lot more people using this and um, it makes me happy because it is a great contour and it's so inexpensive. Love it. Um, I did decide to get out my Physician's Formula Bronze Booster in the light to medium formula because um, I may put on some self tanner in the next couple of weeks so I thought that would be a good opportunity for me to use a bronzer on my face and kind of warm up my collec collection, my complexion a little bit. Um, and I really like this one. I kind of like the packaging on this. It reminds me, it's obviously not nearly as nice, but it kind of reminds me of the Guerlain, um, where they have that like tortoise shell and then like the fancy design. Um, this is obviously not nearly as fancy as Guerlain, but I'm also not paying $75 for this bronzer. Um, I would never pay $75 for a bronzer or for any single makeup item. It better be a darn good palette for $75 if I'm gonna spend that much on any one thing. Um, this is the L'Oreal Feel Natural Light Softening Blush in Charmed Peach. These are discontinued, but um, that's a massive bummer. <laughs> you can still find these on Amazon and eBay. I really love these. I think that L'Oreal is, um, a jerk for discontinuing these because they were like the best drugstore blushes I've ever tried. Um, Bella Rosa Powder Blush from Milani. Oh, did I just nick it? Oh, that would make me sad. Oh, totally didn't. Oh, effing cat. She's trying to get in. Um, this is in the color Bella Rosa. This is also from last year's collection. Wait, is this one? No, sorry. T Rose is from this year's collection. Bella Rosa is from last year's. They're, oh, they're very similar. Bella Rosa is a little bit lighter. Okay. This. If you were able to get this back in the day, back in the day being last year, because this was the Pantone color of the year last year, I believe. Um, or was it the year before? I have my years mixed up. This is the um, color of the year blush duo in Desert Flower and Coral. Oh, I love that coral color over here. I used the heck out of this last summer, and um, it's springtime, so I can bust it out again. It's so pretty. Um, it's just, it's gorgeous. I wish I would have gotten a backup. I would be very sad when that runs out. Um, I did keep Bella Rosa from Milani in the baked blush line, because it's just too pretty to not have out right now. My highlighting powder from Essence in the Metal Glam line. This is Gold Digger. 
I love this. Let's get the blushes out of the way before I start getting into the eye stuff. Um, I also kept out Delizioso Pink from Milani from the Baked Powder Blush line and Coral Cove from the Rose Powder Blush line. This is new this year. Okay, let's talk about some single eyeshadow things. Okay, Wet n Wild Brulee. This is a staple. It never goes anywhere. Um, my usual eyebrow um, powders uh, over the taupe Taupe from NYX, uh, SOS from NYX, and MAC Omega. So three very different shades, obviously, all in like the taupey tone, taupey ash tone, I guess you should say, but, um, or I should say, but it just kind of depends on the day. Sometimes I like my eyebrows darker, sometimes I like them lighter. On my lighter days, I prefer Omega. On my darker days, I prefer over the taupe taupe girls gotta have options right okay um i have all of my new maybelline color tattoos limited edition so nude compliment beijing beauty caramel cool and sleek and spice i could not bear to put them away um i also grabbed out the l'oreal color infallible and tender caramel and this eyeshadow means a lot to me because it, not only is it Canadian, but my sweet friend Stephanie sent this to me from Flourish XO, and um, I, it just means a lot to me. <laughs> the fact that she took the time to send it to me is amazing. So um, we had done a swap, and this was one of the things that she had um, included for me, and I just, I love it so much. So um, L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Liquid Diamonds. This is fancy. This is a pretty color. I wore this yesterday under Nude Compliment. Which one is that? That's Sick and Spice. Here we go. These two. Very, very pretty combination. Uh, I busted out two of my Lorac Baked Matte Satin eyeshadows in Posh and in Insider. I thought Insider would be pretty for like a navy eye. I also took out my MAC Pigment in Mauvement. This is limited edition, but they re-promote it from time to time. When you see it again, you should buy it because it's absolutely amazing. I love it. I remember when I was looking for that and it was, um, they hadn't re-promoted it at the time. I was like so desperate for them to put it out again. And then they came out with the Fabulous Felines collection and oh my goodness. You should have seen me like run to my mat counter at Nordstrom's because I mean it was comical. I literally like got in my car. This was before I had Stella, so I had time to do this kind of crap. Um, like I ran to my car and like sped to Nordstrom's and picked it up. Okay, lip products. Some of these are the same, some I switched out. Okay, so I did. I got all four of my Lorac Couture Shine uh, liquid lip glosses, liquid lipsticks <laughs> that I own. Um, this is Vintage and Retro, sorry, Vintage, Retro, and Muse and Trendsetter, I believe, Trendsetter over here. So I love those. They're absolutely beautiful. I thought I might do a red lip, and for a red lip, I really like a matte red lip. So I took out the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in Standout. This, if you're looking for a gorgeous red lip, you should get this. It is stunning. You'll see it on my lips at some point. Um, NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Beautiful. I'm actually wearing this right now and I like it a lot. Um, Revlon Lip Gloss in, sorry, Color Burst Lip Gloss in Peony. This this smells funny now. I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I need to think about when I actually bought that. I've had that for a while. Um, NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee and Eclair. Creme Brulee, Eclair. I believe I already had those in there. i got to keep up my two favorite coral lip glosses. Revlon uh, Super Lustrous in Coral Reef and Almay in Cantaloupe. This is the Almay Liquid Lip Balm. 
Too Faced Lip Injection Color Balm and Bee Sting. I love it, and I love it paired with my Buxom Lip Gloss in White Russian. My friend um, Aileen, Nelia476, sent this to me, um, and it was, I love it. I love it. Um, I have this Cream Luxe Gloss from Marcel. This is also Canadian. So, yeah, this was um, also something that uh, Stephanie included in my swap that we did together. Uh, this is Bellissima. My really sad MAC lipstick in Viva Glam 2. I just need to use this up because Stella stole the lid. MAC Blankety. Uh, Juicy Papaya from Revlon Color Burst. Lust for Blush from the Maybelline Color Whisper line, and uh, Creamy Nude from Essence. Let's get all this. Actually, why don't I just leave it? <laughs> this video is getting long enough. Um, these are my various uh, eye products, other eye products. So I have three, sorry, four mascaras that I'm going to alternate between. Um, Colossal Volume from Maybelline, uh, Buxom sculpted lash sample this is on its way out this is lash dominations from lash domination from bare minerals this is starting to flake a little bit so i think after this week i'll probably end up tossing this it's just a sample anyway and this is full exposure from uh smashbox i have some eye pencils in here uh rimmel uh waterproof eye cajal in taupe uh, L'Oreal Hip Studio Secrets Intense Eyeliner in Dark Romance. This is totally discontinued. I also have my two jumbo liners from the Sephora 12 Hour Wear Waterproof Jumbo Liner line. I always butcher that one in taupe and then dark taupe shimmer. Dark taupe shimmer is like Tiny. I already have a replacement of this because I love it so much. Um, and then I am still working on finishing my Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil in Blonde. Um, I don't think I'm going to repurchase this. I'm starting to not like it for some reason. I don't know why. I really want to try the Dip Brow. Linda and I were talking about the Dip Brow. She uses it and she really likes it a lot. So I think I may go get a little sample of that. It might be worth spending the $18.00 on. She really likes it a lot. So, um, Cora's Lip Butter in Pomegranate, Cora's Lip Butter in Quince, Cora's Lip Butter in Mango. Um, I'm on a Cora's kick right now. Maybelline Baby Lips in Coral Crush. I do believe this was a uh, limited edition, so you can't get that anymore. And then last but not least, um, Sarah McNamara Miracle Skin Transformer. I am on the last legs of my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Lemon Drop. This will be done after probably this weekend. Um, for when I have a little bit of darkness underneath my eyes, NYX HD Photogenic Concealer in yellow. And um, the rest of this stuff in here is just kind of random. Like my Garnier Anti Dark Circle Rollerball thing, and jo the Josie Moran Argon Infinity Intensive Creamy Oil, which I use on like dry patches. Oh, this works great for that. If you have like super dry skin, this is something that you have to have. It is, dudes, it's like a miracle. You put it on your skin, and your dry skin just like disappears. This is fantastic. Um, I wouldn't slather it over my face, but I can use it in like the dry areas, and it's top notch. Okay, and I think that's it. Oh, and the perfume that I grabbed out is my Calvin Klein Euphoria. I think I showed this in my Friday Favorites last week, but um, I'm going to keep this out, and I'm going to use it for um, the next week or so. <laughs> this I'll probably end up switching out before I switch out all of the makeup products, but I love this. I think I need some more. Did I already spray some on today? I have no idea. Oh, such a sexy lady smell. I love this. I like the bottle, too. It's like modern, kind of fun. So that's it. That's my beauty basket of the next two weeks or three weeks. Who knows? Um, anyway, I have to go work on a flower order now. Thank you guys for watching. Look for my Friday favorites tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Bye.